All right, guys, let's get this math over with. So we are going to do day three. You need to go ahead and get that out. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it so we can get it real fast. So parents or guardians, show your child the two 10 frames below and have a number talk with your child using these questions. So your parents are going to have to do this part with you guys today, okay? Just because I'm not able to hear what you're able to say back to me. You're having a birthday party. You need to have 10 party hats for your friends. Pretend the triangles below are hats. Color some red and some blue. So you need to get your red and your blue crayon out, okay? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to count how many triangles we have. One, two, three, four, five. And we know if there's five on a row, five and five make what? Ten. So there is ten party hats. That's our whole number. Okay, some of your party hats need to be red. So let's go ahead and pick four. We're going to say four of our party hats are going to be red. So that is one of our parts, okay? Our other part that we're missing right here is how many blue hats we have. And that's what's left. So we're going to color the rest in that are blue. We're going to color the rest one, two, three four, five, six. So we have six that are blue. So if we take four and six, we are going to get 10. So now you're going to use your red and blue and you're going to come up with a different way. So you cannot use four or six. Now you know that your whole number is 10 but you're going to color some of them red and some of them blue. And you're going to come up with your own number button, okay? And your own number sentence. And don't forget to color some red and some blue. But do not use the numbers four or six. Use your own, okay? Okay. This time you need to get out a blue and a green crayon. We're going to pretend this is a bracelet. We're going to color five beads blue. So I want you to pick up your blue crayon. You got your blue crayon. Pick up your blue crayon and we're going to color five of them blue. One, two, three, four, five. Now did we color all of them blue? No. So we know that five is going to be our part. One of our parts. Now we're going to color the rest of them green. So what's left, we're going to color in green. So count as you're coloring. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five green also. So we have five blue and five green. What does five and five make? How many do we have all together? So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five and five make ten. Very good. All right, this time you're going to need a yellow crayon. And the other one you're going to need a orange crayon, okay? So this time it doesn't give us a specific color. It just says color some beads yellow and the rest orange. Then make a number bond. So what we're going to do first is we're going to count how many we have all together. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all together our whole number right here is what? How many do we have all together? We have 10 all together. And what they want us to do is color some of them yellow and then the rest of them orange. So we're going to say three. Let's say three. One, two, three. So we're going to say that our first part is three. We have three yellow ones. So now we're going to take our 
other crayon, our orange crayon, and we're going to color in the rest. So as we're coloring in, we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have how many um, orange beads? Seven. I think I said three crayons, but I meant three beads. So we have three yellows and seven orange, and that gives us how many all together? Ten. Very good. Good. So what you're going to do here is you're going to color some yellow. It doesn't tell you how many. I'm going to help you. You're going to do some yellow and the rest black. So you need yellow and black. Then you're going to make a number bond by yourself. So you're going to do your whole, how many you have all together, and then your yellow ones and your black ones, okay? And I'm going to fill this in. So when how many you decide to color yellow, put that number here. How many you color black, you're going to put that number here. And then you're going to put the whole number, these two numbers together, how many we have all together, up here, okay? So color some of them yellow. I don't care how many you color yellow. Once you color some of them yellow, put that number of how many in this yellow circle, in the part. What's left, you're going to color black, and you're going to put that number right here. And then you're going to tell me how many you have all together, okay? That's the two colors you're going to use on this one. Now, when we come down here, this one is already put together, so it's going to try to trick you. It's not a straight line. But what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, okay? We're going to make a number bond. It wants us to make a number bond. I'm going to tell you the two colors you're going to use down here also. You're doing it yourself. You're picking how many you want. So this time it wants you to color some purple and the rest of them green. So you're going to pick up your purple crayon and you're going to color some of the beads purple. When you get done coloring the purple beads, how many you decide to color, you're going to put that number right here. Then what's left that you haven't colored yet, you're going to color green. And how many you color green, you're going to put that number right here. And then you're going to count them. You're going to count the purple and the green together and tell me how many you have all together, okay? And when you're done, I want you to submit it into your short portfolio so they know that you got it, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have a great Wednesday. Bye.